UFO Hotspot Gulf Breeze, Florida, 1993. This rare UFO video sequence was shot by alleged alien contactee, Ed Walters. After panning the entire horizon, a small disc-shaped object appeared overhead, where just before there had been nothing. Then it suddenly disappeared. Could this be a true alien encounter? Or the product of an elaborate hoax? I know Ed's equipment, which is basically about the simplest type of equipment you could get. That rules out the technical capability to do something sophisticated. I don't believe it was a hoax. Researcher Bob Exler found other supportive evidence in Walter's video by comparing sunlight angles, shadows of buildings, and the object's incredible acceleration. Most remarkable videotape, one that I, I could not see any way that could be artificially manufactured. While the merits of Walter's beach UFO video continue to be debated, one thing is clear. There is a person walking and a boat in the frame at the moment the UFO disappears, making it difficult to fabricate. And this is not the only UFO video that Walters, who has claimed physical sensations signal a UFO is nearby, has shown investigators to prove he's been a magnet for sightings. In 1987, Walters, who lived close to sensitive military bases, brought these startling photos to the town newspaper. Then he went public with this extraordinary nighttime UFO video showing the same bizarre craft. Top Walters case expert Bruce McAbee remains baffled. But it wasn't until I spent a considerable amount of time analyzing it that I realized just how impressive it was. The shape, the structure, and the way it moved is not a characteristic of any craft that human beings make. Even these UFOs attributed to a mysterious man named Martin Allen might have actually been shot by Walters, who researchers say wanted out of the public spotlight. Watch this accelerating UFO, which in slow motion doesn't look like a missile or known craft. Nor does this, which moves like the one in Walter's Beach video. Here's a similar one in a third clip. It shows the craft becoming a silver streak, zooming away. In addition, this UFO recorded over Gulf Breeze by a UFO investigator named Michael Hawkins, which has stunning similarities to what Walters had first photographed and videotaped in 1987, seems to have the same kind of otherworldly propulsion capabilities. thing is real. It can't be no balloon. It's no balloon, man. It's no balloon. That is real. That's a real thing, dude. That is the real thing. Where the hell did it go? It's gone, man. It's gone. Hawkins was able to videotape the bizarre craft extremely close up and had it perfectly in frame just as it seems to vanish in the blink of an eye. Incredibly, experts say that all the daylight UFO videos which came from Walters, the person who called himself Martin Allen, and this nighttime Gulf Breeze UFO filmed by Hawkins display some of the best proof that extraterrestrial vehicles are flying in our skies. We don't have this type of capability for propulsion technology in existence in, in human science. 